Welcome to the 2017 Iona Cup Sailing Championship. Can Tim Dunthorne repeat his aggressive and triumphant win of last year's race to retain the title? Now wait a minute here. Tim's triumphant win? Let's take a look at last year's race, shall we? 2016. Tim runs into Rob. Tim wins championship and is loved by all. Fake news. But we don't want fake news. Couldn't agree more, Mr. President. Now that we all accept the illegitimacy of last year's win, we can now focus on this year's race, one that I'm ready for. So off we go. Welcome to the 2017 Iona Cup. I'm Chuck Grassi and I'm joined today by Sarah Sanders, 2002 Canadian Olympic gold champion. Today we return to the shores of Iona for the long-awaited rematch between Rob Elliott and Tim Dunthorne. Yes, Chuck, last year's win by Tim was controversial, but today we are all looking forward to some clean sailing and a great race. Sarah, the crowds are huge this year. And the crowds have been pouring in for days to get a front row seat, and I think the crowd is fully behind Rob Elliott after last year's controversies. Well, the crowds certainly are here, but before we get started, let's take a look at how the race course is set up for today. Both boats cross the start line and make their way to the first mark, then a long downwind leg to mark number two. Then they're on their way home. First one across the finish line is the winner of the 2017 Iona Cup. Let's go to Shirley Robertson for some behind the scenes experience for today's spectacle. They're going through the live race coverage from the last event, almost shot by shot, like a race debrief. It's quite intense. Commentator is to appeal to all viewers. Well, the race is about to begin, so let's get down to the water. Already strong, boy, imaginary. And here come the competitors. In orange, it's Tim Duncan. In the beautiful sloop, the crowds are cheering him on. Can you explain for our viewers what's going on here? Both boats are positioning themselves so that they cross the start line as close to the start time as possible. A great start for both competitors. Rob crossing the line at the precise time. What skill! It's a close race. Both boats trading positions on this long run to the first mark. Rob is looking good with that last move and he has the advantage. Yes, Tim is working it hard, trying to eco every bit of speed. I can't believe it! More contact by Tim! Does he think he will get away with it two years in a row? And they round the first mark! A true battle of champions! Can you believe it? Rob just struck Tim! I didn't see anything, Chuck. That's more fake news. We're gonna go over to our helicopter crew for an update. It looks like Elliot's having some problems out there. I guess, Chuck, it appears he has some problems with his mainsail. Something got caught up on that last tack, and Rob is actually climbing the mast. We'll try to get a closer shot. Amazing! The courage and determination is admirable. It looks like he's got it straightened out and he's back up to speed. A 
Another strike by Rob. Surely we'll see yellow flags by the committee boat. A few choice words from Tim after that last close call. I would suggest Mr. Dunthorne keep his emotions in check and focus on that finish line by the way Rob looks out there. And around the second mark they go. Tim holding on to a whisper of a lead. He's chasing him down to the finish line. Rob has hung it out for the wind shift, and it's paid off. And a quick tap back to lead the way to the finish line. And there we have it. It's Rob Elliott who takes the win. Oh, it was a beautiful race. Off to the podium. And he raises the Poseidon Trophy. Okay, chew. So long, everybody. Hey, Chuck, do you want to come over and watch some Netflix and chill? You realize your mic is hot. Doesn't matter. I'm famous. You wouldn't know a fast sail if the boom hit you right in your head. Oh, that's mean. I'm not putting that in there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fuck, try again. <laughs> try again. Cut! <laughs>